when you look at this essay, you didn't know you'd be that long. Look at this. Look at this. Serious. Uh oh. Oh, okay. This topic is serious topic. All right. So I want everybody in chat to take this seriously. Not often you will see Reddit give you this one. This is a serious tag. That means this is a serious topic. You're not here to make fun of anyone here. All right. We're not trying to push any political agenda, but we're trying to understand why ZZZ is extremely uncomfortable to play as a woman. I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay, let's look at this. 600 upwards. There's a reason why everybody takes this seriously. This is not a short essay, all right? This is pretty serious. This is pretty serious. So let's try and understand the serious topic of being a woman and playing ZZZ. 200 words essay. That's why. That's why. That's what they say, right? Uh, I've been a fan of the Hoyo ever since I picked up Genshin Impact back in 2021 during one of the lockdowns at Pandemic. While the gacha model is one I'm typically critical of, I like that Hoyo games are very much playable to the fullest extent without needing to spend a dime. Free to play, friendly. All right. On top of that, I found that many of the character designs in Genshin were aesthetically pleasing. With just the right amount of fan service, they didn't end up breaking immersion or feeling like a Kuma bit. I feel similarly about Honkai Star Rail, and I've enjoyed that game a lot as well. So here's the problem, right? I can already see where this essay is going. So this person is coming from a different game, all right? I come from Genshin, I come from... And I go to Honkai Star Rail, now I come to Zenless Zone Zero, right? So it's like... It's different though. Like, I don't know why people don't understand that different games, just because it's the same company, doesn't have to be the same. Everything has to be the same, right? Uh, same company can make multiple games that caters to different target audience, right? I don't understand why the expectation is always, uh, the, like has to be like in the in the straight line, right? So when I saw the promos and teasers for Zealous Zone Zero, I was pretty excited. It had a lot of elements I really liked. And Hoyo's game design and budgets have only been improving as of late. The only thing holding it back for me was Nicole. As I thought, she was depicted... The way she was depicted was pretty gross. Not gonna lie. Nicole is gross. Alright. So let's try and understand here. What is the context here? So I'm gonna bring up some Nicole pictures. So as a Nicole Demara big fan. So why is Nicole gross though? I feel like uh, the way she is depicted, alright? So as in her drawing. So I am trying to guess, maybe there's a mole right here. That part is gross. I can, I can see that perspective. But why is she actually gross, right? I don't see anything wrong with her in particular. But uh, I can see why this can be sensitive, right? For some people, this is gross. All right. Nicole Lover Destroyed. <laughs> Nicole Lover Destroyed. Uh, actually, okay, let's try and understand, right? Let's, let's see. What... Is, it, is there going to be a description? The strange anatomy and insane jiggle physics on this girl look like she walked right out of the woman written or made by man page. But I thought maybe she would be a one-off. Okay. All right. So Nicole has too much jiggle physics. Okay, here. The reason why Nicole is being hated by this particular person is because... um. Too much jiggle physics, all right? So a lot of people hate jiggle physics, right? I know a lot of you guys here watching my stream, uh, you know, you watch my videos and you guys are like big fan of huge. But just because you're a big fan of huge, there's a lot of huge haters out there. I know it sounds crazy, right? There's huge haters, wow. People prefer them to be flat if they can. If these people have the option, they would make a game, everyone is flat. You get what I'm saying? They hate it because men enjoyed it. Is that what it is? From a woman's perspective, it's understandable. Wait, is this person a woman though? I guess so, eh? Let's just assume that it is. Let's just assume that because hers doesn't jiggle. Yo, 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 calm down, calm down. All right, we don't have to go for for that. Okay, so the game is out and I play it. And it's everything I feared and more. Uh-oh. Everything you have feared. Everything that you will ever be afraid of. Damn. What? It's just a game, guys. Why are we, why are we fearing? Okay. This fan service was not just a one-off. This game is blatant, straight, male, Kuma bait in the leaks of Nikkei and Last Origin. Ooh, this person even played the other two. Occasionally, even worse than Nikkei and Last Origin. 
Playing this game as a woman is extremely jarring, and it's even more demoralizing to interact with the fan base. Which, let's be real, gacha communities have always been pretty problematic. But this is on another level. A new level of disgusting. Cannot interact at all, right? Just want to talk about Nicole, and then somebody is going to say, okay, I love the boobs, right? Too much. Too much. Woman insecure to a fiction. Woman in... Okay, I, I'm not sure, is it... Is it, are they like, is it insecurity? Like, what is the reason here, right? Or is it like the political correctness? Like... What is actually the reasoning behind it? I mean, it's easy to like, just straight up say this is going to be insecure, insecurity and I get it, right? And if I were to say even a fraction of this post on the Zenlazone Zero subreddit and any other communities, I would be booed off the stage. Yeah, by the way, this is not on ZZZ subreddit. This is on Girl Gamers. Uh oh, Girl Gamers subreddit. Delightfully polarizing term for women who game. Community space for ladies to hang out, all right? Ladies will hang out right here, and I'm glad I'm able to find out what the ladies enjoy, right? So, people who complain about this are told, well, if you don't like it, just don't play the game because it's not for you. Which is so stupid! <laughs> uh, it would be for me if it didn't make me feel like a piece of meat under the male gaze for men to beat off to. And I, and other woman, a whole, a ho should, I think should, uh, should be allowed to express our frustrations over it. So, if it's not for you, don't play it. I mean, there's target audience for everyone, right? Purple person probably quit already. You think she quit already? What did she pull for M6 Bernice, right? Huh. So this is, this is like a, I don't know man, I feel like um, when I look at a lot of things out there in terms of like movies and games and music, I feel like it's okay if it's not for you, right? There's always going to be a demographic out there that enjoys it. And I feel like that's going to be better. To find something that caters to an audience rather than something that tries to cater to everyone. Because like those things generally just don't work, right? And it's really hard to, to make that perfect uh, balance to strike it out. Number one Concord player. Okay, first of all, I think the biggest elephant in the room is the very blatant sexualization of female. Excuse me. <coughs> female child characters. Okay. So in case you guys don't know who that is, who are the female child characters of Zenless Zone Zero? Alright. So shall I? Do we even need to talk about, right? Everybody's favorite, Piper. Piper has been sexualized non-stop, all right? And this has been happening more and more. Who else? Lu? C. Okay. So again, a lot of people just think these are children, so they are not really happy, all right? Now, are they actually sexualized though? I feel like it's okay, right? Ellen is such a pure female. It's Ellen Joe as well. Ellen Joe. So Ellen Joe too, eh? It's too much, alright? So let's find some fan art. Fan art of Ellen Joe. Do you guys think it's too much? Uh actually Ellen Joe fan art it seems fine. A lot of it is um It's not it's not too crazy. A bit blurry, but you get the idea, right? So I don't think any of these are like crazy at all, right? Uh, of course, sure, there are some people that draw them in much more like polarizing manner. I am sure. But in most situation, in most circumstances, I feel like it's... In most cases, it's fine. Like this one for me is fine, but for some people, this could be like, oh, this is sexualized because she's giving you a lollipop. But I don't think it's that big of a deal, right? Some different people think or take art differently, right? Why are people like this? It's a game. If it's a game, why are they writing essays and trying to change the game to cater to their needs? Mmm. Mmm, you get what I'm saying? Okay. So anyways, the way this game is evidently targeted at lollicons. Uh-oh! Lollicons! Lollicon One of the lead designers and artists, Walter Kuma, is a known lollicon 
who draws violent child porn. Violent. Damn. Is this true, guys? Is there proof of this or we're just gonna accuse? We're just gonna go accuse, right? I wonder if there's a there's a proof of this violent stuff. I'm not too sure about that, right? This is already not a good setup. And while the sexualization of minors is to me the most disgusting element of the game, I've also seen a lot of people saying fan service of adult characters is fine. Which fundamentally is true when compared to the alternative, but I take issue with this as well. For me, I don't really care, man. It's a drawing, right? <laughs> Violence. You want to draw violent, uh, black lolly, you want to draw whatever, draw whatever, right? It's not real. It's a drawing. I don't care. Just draw whatever you want, all right? As long as you're not going around breaking the law, if it's a drawing, you know, it's your art. Like, isn't that the whole point? That you're an artist, you're supposed to be able to express your art? I think that's the whole point of, uh, I don't know. That's the whole point of being an artist though, but I, I guess uh, different people have different definition of that, right? Uh, but anyways, for reference, I've taken break from gachas and have just finished my second breakthrough, a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. This game might just have one of my favorite cast of female characters in an RPG, and perhaps gaming in general. Because these women are just allowed to, to just be. These women in Baldur's Gate 3, they can be human, with physical and personal flaws. They are scarred, they don't wear makeup, they are tall. They are buff, they are old, they have scraggly voices, they have porous skin, they wear cool armors. They are mean, witty, nuanced, and have complete arcs. Even the fantasy races manage to feel extremely human in their portrayal. We seldom ever see this kind of representation of women in video games. Representation is important, guys. Women in video games. This is where it needs to be, alright guys? This is where it needs to be. Yo, okay, thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 33 months. <coughs> My thought is as long as one is getting hurt and you are an adult, who cares? No one is getting hurt. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Uh, most of the time, we have been uh, relinquished to waifu bait and chainmail bikinis. Nothing more than guna for the, for the primarily male gaming market. Okay. Well, I know a game like Baldur's Gate 3 cannot be compared to a mobile gacha like Zenless Zone Zero. The way I feel about the way I'm represented as a woman can be. When I play a game where women are reduced to simple caricatures and juvenile archetypes whose main defining features are having massive anatomically incorrect chest or being submissive and shy young girls, it's very uncomfortable. Damn. Massive Incorrect chess. Wow. What does it mean, guys? Women have massive incorrect chess. Is there no woman with big chess? I'm sure there are, right? <laughs> I'm sure there are big women with big chess. What do you mean by incorrect, though? I feel like this is uh this is weird, right? She need the blue archive gym. What does a uh, why compare yourself to a game? Uh, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Insecure maybe, but uh, it does <coughs> it does reads a lot of insecurity right here, right? Uh, is it really uncomfortable or is it like insecurity, right? It's unsettling to know that this game caters to a very specific audience, one that clearly excludes women and is comprised of many questionable people. But why does it matter though? That's the thing, why does it matter if a game caters to certain people? If a game caters to any why does it matter? I don't understand. So if a game try to introduce a disabled character to try to cater to disabled people, and that's okay, but now a game tries to cater to certain uh, demographic and this is not okay, like I don't understand sometimes like when I see the Western, they try to push an agenda, okay, the game need to have a DEI, need to have fat women. So that means they are catering to fat people. Okay, that's fine, but the moment they have like huge mummy milkies, now it's not okay. Like I don't understand, right? Why can't we have there's ghost games like Concord out there that exist. Uh, there's a Dustborn that exists that caters to those kind of people. So why can't these kind of games exist? I don't understand. What is so wrong about it? It's just a game. It's not hurting anyone. It's not killing anyone. No children is hurt. It's all fiction. <coughs> Gooning to K-pop. K-cup J-A-V. Wait, what? 
I think this was a poor decision on Hoyo's part because so much of Genshin and Starry's success comes from its broad appeal. So many women and girls love these games because the female characters, while definitely not perfect, are still grounded in some degree of reality where they are conventionally attractive enough to be marketable while also maintaining their compelling traits. <coughs> okay, she's gonna name some of the characters from Genshin. Navia, for example, my favorite Genshin character. She's beautiful, she's elegant, and even a little sexy, but in a tasteful way. She's also a great character in the writing and I love playing through her story. The characters in ZZZ, I cringe whenever they show up on screen. Cringe! Alright, cringe. Okay, who's the cringe one? Let's see. Jane no cringe. Cringe. Is NB cringe though? I don't think NB is that cringe. Right? I think she's pretty cool. So the one that she complains a lot about is Nicole. Nicole? Cringe. Is she that cringy though? I feel like she's okay. <laughs> Baldur Skate is 3 is too woke. Um, <clears throat> so that's the thing, right? This this thing doesn't make sense. Corinne with her childlike sub submiss submissiveness and strange camera angles in her character screen. Corin, childlike submissiveness and strange camera angles. Okay, let's see. Corin, everybody's favorite maid waifu. Corin, oh, too much. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's showing the underskirt. Uh oh, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. It's too much. It's too much, guys. Okay, this is too much. Now I understand. What pose is too much? This one is fine, right? Or is something wrong with this pose? I don't know. You just see the teddy bear. I think it's this one. What do you guys think? Because you can almost see under the skirt, right? Too much. Guys, this is too much, alright? Imagine if she has no pansu. That would be even too much. I'm sure there's a mod out there somewhere that does that. <laughs> Cringe is what I don't like. When a character prettier than you. You love looking up Corinne's dress? Damn, that's too much. That's too much. No. You're making the woman uncomfortable. Rina and Nicole's ridiculous physics. Wait, Rina and Nicole. Rina, Nicole, I already know, right? I don't think Nicole is that. What do you mean? I think it's fine. They tone it down by a lot, actually. Okay, this is Nicole. Is Rina's one that bad? Dude, she's fully clothed, though. Oh, but the, the, the physics, is it? The shaky shaky. Ah, the shaky shaky is too much. I mean, it's not like it's exposed. Yeah, I can see why it's, why some people think it's too much, right? <laughs> Bloomers, unplayable. Uh, she also complained about what? Grace, is it? Grace, outfit, and artwork. Her C6 or whatever. In this game, is a close-up shot of her feet. Like, why? Why is this game so disrespectful to its female cast? Disrespecting the female. Okay. Grace showing fit is too much, guys. Don't even think about it. Disrespectful, man. You're not supposed to dress like this at all. Disrespectful. Okay, where's the fit? I need to see. Oh. Oh, who has, who has uh, M6 Grace, right? Anyone in my friend has? So you can basically view it right here. Uh, somewhere in the profile, you can basically set it up, right? Let me see. Is it uh? It's called name card, is it? So band bigger? She didn't complain band bigger. Jane Doe, I guess is fine. I'm surprised she didn't complain Ellen Joe because she's like naked right here, right? <laughs> Show fit. Where's uh, Grace one, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Oh uh oh feet uh oh shoes feet okay that's too much that's too much disrespecting woman you can't just let a woman do this and show the feet I understand I understand now so now I understand what woman shouldn't uh, accept it's not politically correct in uh, real life right stop your feet phobia you're scared really you're so afraid of feet eh. But you have your own fit though, right? It means just a fit. She will drool over the man. I don't know. Okay. Disrespectful, guys. Disres ah, I want to love this game. But this game doesn't love me back. And it's a real shame. How can a game love you back? A game is a game. 
It's not a living thing. Living thing that uh, it doesn't. How can the game love you back, right? So many female characters in Genshin and especially Star Rail have resonated with me from both a design standpoint and also in their writing. Here, it feels like women are merely objects and assets used to entertain a player based on porn addicted head males. And it's gross. Is this supposed to be something else? Porn addicted hot males? No, it's supposed to be other word, but it's censored. Uh, and it's gross, okay. Woman's breasts don't bounce around like water balloons, even if she's larger chested. Why does a woman working in construction only wear a crop tank with her jigglers bouncing around while a male mate has a full suit? Why guys, why? Why is that? <laughs> These people will go more if they look down and see their own feet. Why do you guys think? So uh, this person is talking about woman working in construction and that would be Grace. That would be this girl right here. And it's called comparing Grace to Lycoen. Alright, so we are comparing why is Grace somebody that works in construction, wears this kind of clothes, but Lycoen wears full shirt. Ah. Anyone got argument for that, huh? Why are all the male characters either a robot or an animal, or allowed to be practical while the woman and girls are reduced to an incel's wet dream? Because God forbid, woman be anything other than a perfect little eff <laughs> effable waifu, I guess. No other trait aside from sex appeal for the male gaze allowed. Male gaze. Hmm. She doesn't, she works tank, not labor. Yeah, I think she's like a different department, right? <laughs> this character concept. It's sad. And I wish it didn't bother me this much. I want to play this game. But I really struggle to look past all of this. And it's so front and center. It has every element that I would otherwise enjoy. Retro urban aesthetic, cool music, arena fighter gameplay with awesome combo chaining, great voice acting. But damn, I just cannot get past the grotesque levels of fan service, big mummy milky, bouncy bouncy, woman. Woman, alright, needs more dudes. I hope this is not the precedent Hoyo sets for its future games. Wow. Well, long essay. So that is why Zelda Zone Zero is uncomfortable to play as a woman. So today we have the answer, alright? I've been always wondering, right? Why is it uncomfortable to play this game as a woman? Now we know. Now you guys know, alright? Now, do you guys agree though? How many of you guys agree, right? That's the different question. I only stick to Genshin and Star Rail. I was excited to ZZZ. ZZZ caters to the male gaze. Nope, not missing much. Not missing much, eh? Uh, as much as I love the art, combat, gameplay, and life simulator, this is frustrating. People on the Hoyo app defend it by saying they aren't real. It's the weakest excuse. Why is it a weak excuse? I don't get it. I was reading a post about how Lolicon art exists and that leads to fewer crimes against children. But this kind of says that people that consume their art will do these crimes. Okay, where's the proof of that then? Uh, I don't know, like why are we talking about this? Uh, decided to drop the game. Plenty of better games, okay. It feels really weird. Okay. You articulated it perfectly. I'm a lesbian and I feel you here. As a lesbian, my same-sex attraction only amplified this issue for me even more. So lesbians don't even like this. Wow. Well, lesbians hate this. As I am not a woman, I cannot comment. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I, I, I feel like these kind of people are in the minority. I feel like it's in the minority, I actually think. She shouldn't play ZZZ, but she's not here to play ZZZ. You don't understand, right? People like this are not here to play the game. People like this is to pu are here to push their political agenda. I think that's what you see. That's why you have games like Concord. They get their political agenda pushed into that game, and then it failed, and then it died. And the truth is, nobody likes those kind of games. That's why games like those die. So people like this have to rely on pushing this political uh, view or agenda into games that are success successful. 
because if you make your own game, it's not going to succeed. Actually, a lot of DAI game has been failing more and more, right? If you look at a lot of uh, American or Western games recently, uh, that's just the truth, right? I haven't seen one that succeeds in a very like, you know, exceptional manner so far. Most of that I see that has DAI, they just they just either don't do well or they just straight out just die, right? So uh, that's why you are, you are seeing more and more a woman go around and push these things into other franchises. It happens a lot in movies actually. I don't know if you guys follow this. I don't really follow a lot of movies, but every time I go to Twitter, for example, the Star is it Star Wars? Is it the Acolyte? Because a lot of the women try to make Star Wars very for like, make it like very girly, like for women. Now the Star Wars Acolyte, I heard like it didn't get very good. It was bomb. I think the same happening to Marvel superhero movies as well. It used to be very good. And then after she hug happened, and then I don't know what happened afterwards, right? Uh, I heard like it was going downhill because it was like woman. Uh, there's one Lord of the Rings series. Is it called Rings of Power, is it? And then there's a Black Hobbit. Wow, Black Hobbit. And I was like, and then that, that one even flopped, I heard. Lost a lot of money, right? So I think it's fine if you are a woman and you love these kind of things. You know, you love these kind of things. Uh, you 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 should make your own franchise, but I don't think you should ruin other things that exist. Because if uh, and I I'm guessing that's also why they are doing it. Because every time they try to make something, it will never succeed because nobody likes it. Netflix Witcher, yeah, I've heard I've heard of that one as well, right? <clears throat> Warhammer 40k also, yeah. Uh, a lot of franchise is being invaded by women. The woman has come to this to this space. To these franchises, the Star Wars, Star Wars is always for guys, let's be honest, right? Star Wars has always been for guys, Lord of the Rings has always been for guys, but the women, they come in, they try to make it for women, and then it becomes like weird, right? It becomes weird, I don't know. That's just what I think, right? I, I can give a few more examples, but those are the major examples that I've seen that's been happening, um, you know? I think like if you are a woman, there's a lot of good shows for women, all right? I think Titanic is kind of for women, and that one is quite good, right? I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Even the new anime Tomb Raider is also very woke. I guess so. Yeah, a lot of those. <laughs> boy, boy gamer subreddit is the main one. So here's what I think, right? I don't know about you guys, but here is what I think. I think some things is just better to be... have. It's just better to have a, a main demographic, right? You either cater to a... Guys, or you cater towards women? It's hard to cater to both, right? That's why if you look at a lot of things, like for example, Lego is a good one, right? If you look at Lego, like the toys, right? They have Legos for girls, they have Legos for boys, right? And I don't think like, I don't see why everything needs to be for everyone. When you try to do that, I think the franchise just get ruined, gets ruined, right? Because if you want to do that, you have to build it from the ground up. You cannot just... When it's built for like Lord of the Rings, it's definitely for guys. I don't think like girls actually like it. And now you try to change it, it's very weird. It's definitely very weird.